practice is all about opening the hips and experiencing gentle stretches while shining the heart to the world and chilling out. My name is B Sherlock and I'll be guiding you through today's practice. In today's world, we tend to take on more and more things and forget that we should be taking time to slow down, chill out and relax. We need to find that balance between work, self-development and play. Today's practice brings our awareness back to this fact. Open the heart and the hips in calming postures. Take it slow, find your breath and live from this beautiful, peaceful state, even if for just a moment. Let's meet on the mat. Before we begin this practice, just grab a couple of blocks or some books, and a bolster, and if you don't have a bolster, maybe just a blanket that you can roll up to use toward the end. As we work through the sequence, you might find your mind wandering. Come back to the idea of just being. Allow past discretions to pass and let go of any requirements for the future. The moment is now. Surrender to the mat and the movement. We'll begin the practice with a short uh, purifying breathing technique, Nadi Shodhana. So draw the right hand, uh, the right thumb to the right nostril. The index and the middle finger can rest uh, gently in the space between the brow. The ring finger and the pinky can just be free for a moment. So exhale all the air out of your lungs. Take an inhale. Now block the right nostril. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Release the right nostril. Block the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Release the right left nostril, block the right, breathing out through the left nostril, breathing in through the left nostril. Releasing the right, breathing out, inhale. Continue this practice for the next minute or so. I'll let you know when it's time to release the breath to delve a little deeper into the breathing technique, feel free to close down the eyes. Equal inhale to equal exhale. Can release the breath now. Draw the right hand to the to the knee and just observe. Notice how the body feels, how the mind may be coming in and out of different thoughts. Recognize how the breath feels on the inhale and perhaps it's releasing on the exhale. Coming over to child's pose now, so draw the hips to the heels. It can be any variation of child's pose that speaks to you in the moment. So it can be a wide-legged child's pose drawing the heart to the earth arms outstretched toward the top of the mat, or it can be a narrow child's pose with the arms by the sides and the forehead on the mat. 
as we come down into child's pose, retain the breath in the seat. So inhale, breathing into the pelvic floor. Hold the breath here. And as you exhale, notice as the navel draws to spine and there's a slight pelvic contraction. Just take a couple of breaths in this space to connect the breath with the body and the mind. Draw the arms out in front if they're not already. So stretching the fingertips to the top of the mat. Inhale, wave the body forward, coming up into cow. Lower the belly, lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes, sweep the tail to the sky, coming to Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, lower the knees to the mat, coming to a neutral tabletop. Exhale, release the toes, draw the hips to the heels, coming back into child's. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, rising up onto the knees. Exhale, hips to heels, coming back to child's. Let's do that two more times. We'll go through that sequence. Remembering to focus the breath in the base of the spine and watch as it travels up through to the collarbone. Even inhales, even exhales, and it's a slow meditative movement. Inhale, wave the body forward, coming into cow. Lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes, sweep the tail to the sky, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, lower the knees to the mat, neutral tabletop. Exhale, hips to the heels, coming into child's pose, balasana. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, coming up onto the knees. Exhale, lower down, hips to heels, child's pose. Inhale, sweeping the body forward, coming up into cow, lower the belly. Lift the chest. Exhale, sweeping the tails of the sky. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, lowering the knees. Neutral tabletop. Exhale, hips to heels. Child's pose, Balasana. Inhale, sweeping the arms overhead. Rising to the knees. Exhale, lowering down, hips to heels. Coming back to child's. Gently now, rise to a seated position, lifting up through the crown. So finding length through the spine. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, rotate the torso to the right. Draw the right arm to the back, left arm to the front. Gaze can be to the right. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, return the torso to center. Exhale, rot rotate the torso to the left. Inhale, sweeping the arms above the head, rotate the torso to center. Exhale, sweeping the arms to the right. Inhale, sweeping the arms overhead, back to center. Exhale, rotate the torso to the left. Inhale, sweeping the arms overhead. Last round, exhale, breathing into the twist, feeling into the dynamic movement. Inhale, return to center, beautiful. With the arms up above, lower the right arm to the mat, just behind the right foot. Inhale, push up through the hips, lift the hips, lift the heart, 
sweep the left arm toward the right side of the mat, feeling a stretch through the front hip flexors. So the left hip flexors, it's a variation of us Ustrasana. Take a couple of breaths here. So we're pushing the hips forward, lifting up through the chest, finding that length, feeling through the stretch. Exhale, lowering down, hips to heels, coming back to center. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, finding length through the spine. Release the left hand to the mat just behind the left foot. Push through the hips, lift up through the heart, reach the right arm toward the back of the mat. Pushing the hips forward, lifting up through the chest, so finding length through the spine. Feeling a gentle stretch in the right hip flexors, opening up through the heart. One more breath here. Good. Exhale, coming back to center, releasing the hips to the heels. Take a little child's pose here, narrow legged. Arms by the side, forehead to the mat. Nice little counter pose for that mini back bend. Stretch the fingertips to the top of the mat. Inhale, wave the body forward, coming back into cow. Lower the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the toes, sweep the tail to the sky. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Let's really take our time here in Adha Mukha Svanasana. So draw the hips to, sorry, draw the heels to the mat. Only going to where your body allows. So if your heels don't reach the mat, that's okay. There's a slight bend in the knees, so micro bend in the knees to protect the uh, ligaments. Draw the tailbone up and back. Sternum can draw toward the thighs. Gaze is toward the navel, finding that length through the back of the neck. So we've got one straight line from the tail through to the crown. And to broaden through the shoulders, internally rotate the elbows toward each other. Notice how the shoulders broaden and the chest opens. We're just releasing into our hamstrings now. Finding a little bit of strength and stability through the hips. And a little bit of a stretch through the hamstrings and the calves. Inhale, breath blossoms from the base of the spine along the back into the collarbone. Exhale, notice as the navel draws to spine, slight pelvic contraction. One more breath here. Beautiful. Lower the knees to the mat. Come to find a, a wide-legged seat. Flexing the knees, draw up through the crown so flexing the toes, flexing the feet, engaging through the thighs, micro bend in the knees if um, it's a little, you're a little, living in a bit of a tight body. So lifting up through the crown, finding length in the spine. Gently release the left arm to the inside of the left leg. You can have your hand here, just depending on your flexibility today. Your hand can be your support or you can bring your um, body down to the uh, forearm. Inhale, sweep the right arm over toward the left side of the mat. Now the aim here is not to reach your toes. The aim is to be mindful of where your body is in this moment. Pavrita Apavista Kanasana, revolved seated side angle. So we're opening up through the side, we're opening the hips and the heart. Revolved seated side angle stimulates the lymphatic system. 
helping us filter through toxins that are held through the side body. Inhale, breath blossoms from the base of the spine, find length and exhale, notice as the navel draws to spine. So within each inhale, we're finding length through the spine, but also finding the length through the side body. Beautiful, finding expansion here. On the next inhale, rising up to center. Take a little breath. Inhale, reach through the crown. Lower down, right arm in front of the right leg. Sweep the left arm over toward the right toes. Again, that's not our aim. We're just breathing into our side body, opening up through the hamstrings and the hips, opening the heart. So we inhale, finding length in both side bodies. And as we exhale, Perhaps we release a little further into the fold. Feel into the side body there. Stabilization through the hips. Drawing the ears away from the shoulders. Each inhale, finding length as the breath blossoms from the base of the spine into the collarbone. And as you exhale, navel draws to spine. There's a slight pelvic contraction. Breathing into the side body, perhaps we find a little more expansion. Inhale, coming back to center lifting up out of the pose. As we move now into pigeon, bending the uh, right knee, we can just come up, bring the palms to the front of the mat, tuck the back toes and lift up and just shift the torso to the front. Back leg is pointing toward the back of the mat. Resting our hips down here. If you need a block, you can just prop a block up uh, underneath the hip on the right side, finding extension through the spine. And as you exhale, gently lower the torso to the mat. Depending on your flexibility, you may be here with the elbows uh, just underneath the chest and that's wonderful. So finding length through the spine on the inhale. And as you exhale, perhaps you find a little bit more of a, a release into the forward fold. If you're slightly uh, more open in your body through your hips, you can bring the head and the forehead down to the mat. Ekapada, Raja Kapatanasana, Pigeon Pose. So uh, we hold a lot of our emotion in our hips and Pigeon allows us to surrender into the posture to allow for the release of those held emotions that no longer serve us. We find a beautiful stretch through the back, through the glutes, through the hamstrings and the thighs. Remembering our intention here to let go of doing, surrender, and just be. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Inhale, gently walk the hands back, finding length through the spine in this seated position here. And as we exhale, lean into the right side of the hip, swing the left leg around to the front and we'll just do a swap. So sweeping the right leg to the back of the mat now, setting ourselves up for the stretches through the left side. Back leg is in the center of the mat. Inhale, lifting up through the spine. Exhale, gently lower the torso to the mat, coming into your comfortable version of the forward fold. Just breathe here. Witness the inhale as it blossoms at the base of the spine. Notice how it travels along the back into the collarbone. Exhale, navel draws to spine. It's a slight pelvic contraction. Recognize any resistance that may be coming up for you here. Use the breath to breathe into any emotions. Allow them to come. Allow them to go. Feel the release. Surrender. Inhale now, lifting the torso, walking the hands gently back toward the, the legs. Sweep the right leg around to the front of the mat. Coming now onto your back as we move into uh, Setu Bandha Savangasana. So um, supported, we're going to do a supported bridge pose. Draw, you can use a block here or you can use a bolster, whichever is more comfortable for you or however you feel today. I'm taking the block um, on a medium level and I'm going to place it, lift up my hips and place it just where the sacrum is. Allow the arms to rest by the side. This gentle back bend will find a nice expansion of the front body. And without the activation of our muscles, we'll allow gravity to help find that release. Perhaps you feel a stretch through the hip flexors the front hip flexes. Set to Bandha Savangasana allows us to activate our parasympathetic nervous system, promoting a sense of ease here. It helps, pro helps improve our mood. So just using our breath. Again, the breath travels from the base of the spine on the inhale through to the collarbone. And on the exhale, the navel draws to spine and there's a slight pelvic contraction.
last breaths here. Inhale, lifting the hips, removing the block or the bolster from underneath the sacrum. Allow the hips to come to the mat. Just take a moment here. Notice any sensations throughout the body. Check in with the mind and see where your thoughts have wandered to, if they've wandered. Bring them back to that intention of letting go, surrendering and just being. As we inhale now, we're going to rise up to a seat. This is where we bring our bolster into play. If we don't have a bolster, roll up a, a big blanket and just pop it uh, below, behind the sacrum. So we're going to pop your um, soles of the feet to the mat. Knees can be pointing to the ceiling. Gently lower your back onto the bolster. Allow the arms to rest by the sides. When you feel comfortable, you can either draw the, the soles of the feet together and come into a reclined butterfly, or you can just put the legs straight out in front. Yet another beautiful heart opener, Supta Matse Andrasana. We're doing a supported fish pose here. It's a beautiful way to open up through the heart. Allow the body to relax. This supported version of fish pose helps to alleviate or counteract the, the movement that a lot of us do with hunching over a keyboard all day. So we're moving our body in the opposite direction. Opening the heart, allowing the body to melt into the body, the bolster and the earth and the mat. Give yourself permission here to open the heart, relax and let go. With our eyes closed, this is a beautiful posture to remind ourselves of how we speak to ourselves. Often we might find when we're on the mat, we can become a little hostile when we're not able to make it into particular shapes. Being able to rest here and go inward gives us the opportunity to recognize that it's not about moving into what we believe is the idea of a perfect shape. It's about meeting ourselves where we are in the moment. Are we able to draw our thoughts toward the good that we're able to do on the mat. And in doing so on the mat, how can we afford ourselves the same off the mat?
feel free to remain here in supported fish pose. If you would prefer and would like to come into Shavasana, push up into the palms to gently release out of the posture. Shift the bolster aside, come down to a supine position. Allow the feet to fall to the sides of the mat. Draw the arms away from the body, palms facing up. It's a slight tilt of the chin away from the chest to encourage that natural curve of the spine. And gently release any tension in the jaw. Let go of any furrow in the brow. And if they're not already, close down the eyes. Surrender here into the earth. Release into the mat. Allow the earth to support your being. Let go of all things doing. And allow yourself to just be. Bring your attention back to your breath now. Notice the natural rhythm of the inflow and the outflow. Return some movement to the fingers and the toes. when you're ready, roll to your most comfortable side and observe. Push up through your free hand, come to a comfortable seat. Inhale, lifting up through the crown, sweeping the arms overhead. Draw the pinky and the thumbs together, coming into Lotus Mudra. Gently sweep the palms of the hands to the heart center. Lotus Mudra reminds us how we are destined to remain grounded yet open to reach toward the light. Take an inhale. Exhale, draw the palms to meet. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. More importantly, thank yourself to making it to the mat today. All too often in our lives, we keep taking things on and continuing to drive ourselves to achieve and make things happen. You've got to find the balance. Remember throughout your day to take yoga off the mat and take a moment to just be. That could be um, actually sitting with your lunch and not being distracted with a phone or sitting at your desk while you work. Just doing little things to help you find that balance throughout your day. As always, keep being you, bringing magic to this world from your space at your own pace. 
Namaste.